So, Thailand 2-1 up against the number one seeds, Indonesia, in this Group A tie. And um, second men's doubles coming up with Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Adianto up uh, against Natapat Trinkaji and Tanupat Virayankora for Thailand. There you can see just one previous match for the Thailand pair in their careers. One previous match as a pair, I should hasten to add. But here are the Asian Games silver medalists. Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Adianto. World Championship bronze medalists in Basel in 2019. The silver medalists at the Asian Games in Jakarta losing out to Gideon and Sukumolio, who we saw at first men's doubles. So to the Thai pair, it's a new pairing. And only one previous match together. That was against Finland in the Sudaman Cup campaign. They beat Anton Kaisti and Jesper Paul. They weren't selected as a pair on Saturday here at the Thomas Cup campaign. Rian Kora was selected with Jomko. So first meeting. And I'm uh, for this one. Johan John from Bruton from uh, Bahrain. I do beg your pardon. From Bahrain. So, I wonder, can this new pairing from Thailand cause a major upset? Of course, the Indonesians are overwhelming favourites because uh, these two, Fajar Alfian and Rian, Mohamed Rian Adianto, have been as high as five in the world, as you can see from that. 25 years of age is Alfian. Oh, oh, I actually had him down as 26. From Bandung in West Java. And Mohamed Rian Ardianto, he's 25. From Jogjakarta. So, played one match in the Sudaman Cup campaign. And that was against Canada. And they weren't selected either, the Indonesians, in their first group tie here at the Thomas Cup. So as far as Natapat Krinkaji is concerned, 21 years of age from Bangkok. And yes, that world ranking of 1,636, well, they got, I think, less than 10 points towards their world ranking for their one match in Vanta in Finland. Tanupat Vriankora is 25 years of age, also born in the Thai capital. So as I was telling you, uh, Ampa from Bahrain, so this judge from Ireland.
and Muhammad Riyana Diego. And on my left, Taya, represented by Nathamad Trigaji and Tanamad Viryagura. The donation is served for the Russia to Tanamad Viryagura. The ball. Play. So this, of course, is vital for Indonesia. No, it's vital for both teams, obviously, because if Thailand were to win the second men's doubles, they won the tie. But we will, at the group stage, contest all five matches. It's only when we get to the knockout stage that, once the tie has been decided, any remaining matches are not contested. What a good opening rally. Yeah. Oh, just shy of 50 shots, that opening rally. for Thailand. Defensive shot. Just wide. Mm. Well, he intercepted well. sort of freshness and willingness to work for each other. Well, it certainly looks at the moment that that's the case with the Thailand player. Very good attacking play at the moment from the Indonesians.
I have to say, I've been very impressed with the attitude with which Elfie and, and Ardiento have come out for this match. Big pressure situation. And yeah, they've come out firing on all cylinders. has been very impressive. Alfian and Ardiento. And at moments, type here, just having to do too much defending. 11-3. Just five minutes. So I'll be interested to see if there's any sort of change of tactics from the tie combination. Well, they were outpaced in the first half of this opening game. Ah, oh, now that's nice from Matapat. From Kaji. That is delightful. What a super shot from Fajar Alfiem. forehand side of his opponents. Oh, my goodness, that's quick. Oh, Alfian is on fire at the moment. Very, very sharp. Junior Championships was Trin Kaji back in Bilbao in 2016. Was in the men's doubles. Who lived as long so. So we know he's got talents, we know he's got a lot of potential. 
and he's not living with the pace, and nor is his partner, Ryan Gora. That's a lovely drop. This time from Ardianto. Delightful. change of pace and game points have arrived already a little over 11 minutes into the match Should have done. Yeah, good, powerful smash from Trinka G. on their third game point opportunity. Indonesians Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Ryan Adianto close out the opening game 21-9, convincing style in just 12 minutes. Opportunity and very, very well finished off by Fajar Alfia. Well, 
the intent was certainly there from the Indonesians trying to play the same style as they played in the opening game, which was all out attack. is in that from Alfia. Fast and furious, wasn't it? rotational play. One move back, the other move forward. Or was somebody threatening the front court area? shot from Viriankora who was simply too loose at the front of the court that Natapat actually got his racket to it before it landed. It still landed in. So even with a deflection. Sharp umpiring. Oh, 
another service error from Ardianto. That's his second. Yep. Make some ends for an next rally. <laughs> Anthony Ginting back with the horn or hooter, whatever you want to call it. Makes a loud noise, I know that. Oh, well, that was well left. Well, challenge here. Another pack. Yeah, I think that might be a little rush. I think maybe a little bit frustrated from Kaji that his opponent missed it and then it was called out. He was miles on. I thought that was a little rush. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Seven of the last eight points to the Indonesian pair. Missed it. It's just wide. Oh, he's going to challenge. She's Alfia. Oh, I thought the line judge got that right. Judge did get it right. Challenge One challenge remaining. So we saw six, ten, play. Yeah. So we saw very, very seven, sharp six, indeed, seven. the Indonesians at the moment. And an 11 6 lead here in the second game, having already won the first. Eight of the last ten points to get to the mid game yeah. interval. Uh, beaten by sheer pace. Pace and placement. So the Indonesians, as with the opening game, are on a bit of a, a roll at the moment. Yeah, there's another. Oh, I challenge that. Well, that was called out. I saw that as in. But if the Indonesians are wrong and I'm wrong, then the Indonesians have got no challenges left here in this second game. But that's an indication that it was in the fact that the Thailand players handing the shuttle back for the Indonesians to serve. Good challenge. Oh dear. Struggling with his serve Seven, is Mohamed Rian Adianto. Third service error. Good rally and good play from 
Trinkaji, youngest player on court at the age of 21. from Tanupat. Nice change of pace. Oh, he touched it! It was going out! Yeah, false. Yeah, good umpiring. Good spot. That was clearly going wide. He needn't have played that. Look. Oh. Don't know what he was thinking there. with his serve as Adi Anto, but in the rest of the rally, he's been playing well. Great defence off his knees. Yeah. Well worked by the Thailand pair. now, isn't he? Arupa Nagi. that and it came off his chest. Oh, something very odd happened. Oh, that's right. Well, I have to say, I know I said it early on about Alfie and Anadianto, but the way they've come out for this match went under severe pressure. And I think their attitude and their approach to the match has been absolutely superb. Look at that block. That is a block out of this world from Fajar Alfian. Calmly just blocks it across court on the forehand defence. Magnificent. partner to leave it and match point opportunities. Yeah, 
21-9, the margin of their victory. A little over 30 minutes. And the experience of Alfian and Adianto coming through in two straight games. And that, of course, means that Indonesia have drawn level in this Group A tie. Two matches apiece. Second men's doubles, 21-9, 21-12 in just over 30 minutes. So this is the second match point and the deceptive return of serve from Alfian who had an outstanding match. And that means that it's all going to come down to the fifth and final match of the tie. And it is the third men's singles, Rustavito against Namkun. It all rests on this. So welcome back to the Sirius Arena here in Aarhus. It's a wonderful sports facility. You can see the football pitch, which has also got a running track and the training areas as well. Track racing as well on the adjoining park. It's a, it really is a lovely facility. 